Welcome back. A week before the midterm elections and all eyes are on Arizona. It's one of the closest, most contentious Senate races in the entire country, and it's all playing out right here in Arizona. Republican Representative Martha McSally and Democratic Representative Kirsten Sinema are locked in a close battle with a week to go. This week, McSally is hoping visits by Senator Susan Collins and Donald Trump Jr. will help push her over the top. Now the very latest poll out this morning from NBC News Marist shows Democrat Kirsten Cinema up by six points over McSally, but according to a real clear politics average of polls, the race remains a toss up. Tomorrow morning, we'll hear from Congresswoman McSally, but right now we want to welcome Congresswoman Kirsten Cinema. Thank you very much for taking the time. Your response to the latest polls, considering, considering most of the polls had you guys locked in a dead heat until this one. Well, what we're hearing and feeling from folks on the ground is really consistent with what you're seeing in these polls. Folks across Arizona are excited to vote for a senator who's going to represent their values. So we're hearing from Democrats, Republicans, and independents that they're supporting our campaign because I'm laser focused on the issues that matter to everyday Arizonans. And that's a real difference between Martha and I. She's been really focused on kind of negative attacks and these lies against me, but we're staying focused on the issues that matter to Arizona voters. And that's what I think you're seeing reflected in these polls. Uh, let me ask you about what dropped this morning. President Donald Trump told Axios on a HBO in an executive order, he plans to end birthright citizenship, a very controversial move if indeed he plays that out. If elected, would you push back on that idea? Well, he actually doesn't have the authority to do that because our Constitution protects this right for Americans. This is really just a distraction, trying to get voters to talk about something else. But the truth is that voters in Arizona know exactly what they're concerned about. And what I hear from folks everywhere I go, Javier, is health care. They're worried about their own ability to take care of their family and get health care benefits for themselves and their kids. And that's what I hear from voters day in and day out. Uh, I, I know health care is your big push. That's your campaign. That's A right. lot has been talked about pre-existing conditions. Let me ask you about what really matters to the people out there. Do you have a plan in place that would drive down some of these prices so that normal day Arizonans could afford health care for both them and their families? Well, I'm so glad you've asked that because keeping protections for people with pre-existing conditions is critical to ensuring that folks can afford their health insurance. If those protections were taken away, as Martha has voted to do, then costs would skyrocket for 2.8 million Arizonans who live with asthma or diabetes. And so that's number one. We have to keep those protections in place. And number two, we've got to bend down the cost curve so that more folks can afford their insurance. So critical to doing that is making sure that we keep these rules in place so that insurance companies can't charge folks five times as much for being over the age of 50 or denying them coverage if they have asthma or diabetes. These are the kinds of common sense protections we've got to protect for Arizonans. While health care is important, this is also a border state. That's right. We have a large caravan of thousands of South American uh, migrants coming up seeking asylum here in the United States. Uh, the president just mentioned yesterday they plan to put 5,000 troops at the U.S. border. How would you handle this situation? Well, I've supported having additional boots on the ground at the border to make sure that we're stopping the inflow of dangerous groups like Sinaloa and MS-13, which are dangerous cartels. They smuggle drugs and people, abusing people into our country. The way to handle issues of folks who come to seek asylum is to have more immigration judges who can decide those cases quickly send people back if they don't qualify for asylum and quickly process people who do qualify. Is the president playing politics by putting those boots on the ground now considering this caravan is more than a month out? <laughs> well, many people have asked that very question. What I think folks should do is focus on the real challenges we face on our border. And that is we do need a secure border. We need to stop the bad guys from coming in and create a legal process that helps good guys come in through legal means. That's why I've been working on legislation called the USA Act, which increases funding for smart border security, like drones and cameras and boots on the ground, while also creating a path to citizenship for our dreamers. That's the kind of common sense legislation that I'll continue working on in the US Senate. Does it include money for a border wall? You know, a border wall can be part of, but shouldn't be the entire solution, because a wall is simply an 18th century solution to a 21st century problem. 
I've supported funding for some walls in Arizona, but we also have to have additional funding for drones and cameras and boots on the ground so we actually can have situational and operational control of the border. It's a comprehensive approach that's much smarter and more efficient. Let me ask you, last week we saw a lot of ugliness, explosive packages sent to vocal critics of the president. Then we saw a massacre at a synagogue yes. in Pittsburgh. Many are saying the rhetoric from Washington, D.C., from both sides of the aisle, continue to play into this and divide the country. How do we stop this? How do we stop that yeah. rhetoric and bring everybody together? I'm so glad you've asked that question because one thing I can tell you I'm very proud of is that I don't engage in that type of behavior and neither does my campaign. We stay focused on the issues that matter to everyday Arizonans. Last night I spent some time um, with individuals who are mourning the loss of lives at Squirrel Hill and I was up at Congregation Beth Israel and I was overcome by the unrelenting message of love in the face of hate. And I was so gratified to be with so many Arizonans last night who answered those messages of hate with a message of love and tolerance for each other. As folks know, that's what I practice in the United States Congress and that's what I'll continue to do in the United States Senate is to be an example of how we can have differences of opinion but do so respectfully. How we can work towards common ground and outcomes in our country and do so respectfully. That's perhaps what's been most disappointing about this campaign, to be honest with you, Javier, is Martha, my opponent, has chosen to engage in really very personal name calling and, and focus on lies and, and really nasty attacks. But I think we deserve better. And that's why I'm continuing to run a campaign based on the issues. I have to ask you about this because during this campaign, a lot of videos have come out of your words from the past, one saying that Arizonans are crazy, hmm. the other calling Arizona uh, the meth lab of democracy. Is this how you feel about the people who you want to represent? You know, back in 2010 and 2011, when I was in the state legislature, you remember that time, the Arizona legislature was making very, very bad decisions for our state. Cutting funding for education, getting rid of health care for kids, and passing legislation like SB 1070, which hurt our state and our national reputation. At that time, I was frustrated because it felt like no one else in the state legislature was standing up to say that these decisions were wrong. So I stood up and said, what my colleagues were doing in the state legislature was wrong. It was wrong then, and it's wrong now. All right. Thank you very much. Thank we you thank so much. you for taking the time. Uh, we have a week left until the midterm elections tomorrow. You'll want to join us where Martha McSally will join us right here on Good Morning Arizona. We will talk the key issues and her strategy in the final week of the Senate race. That's in our seven o'clock hour.